In this video, we're going to actually set up a link inside the link bank. So right now, I'm over here on the link bank dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and click this button that says create new link. Now, this can be as easy as you want to make it or it can be as complicated as you want to make it. Now, all the information we need to get you set up with your link is right here in this top area. However, we also have extra options down here. So I'm going to show you how to get set up with your link first, and then we're going to cover some of the extra options down here. Now, remember what I said at the beginning of the series. Things could look different when you open up your link bank. And the reason why is because we are listening to your guys' feedback and we are making the necessary changes that makes the platform easier to use. So with that being said, let's get started. The first thing is you have the ability to choose a vendor. This is a drop-down menu, which means it is controlled from the Manage Groups tab. Remember that. All of these drop-down menus are controlled from the Manage Groups tab. That's not going to change. However, if I want, I could go ahead and add a vendor right here on the fly. I can put in the vendor's name. I can upload their picture, their website URL, their Skype information, LinkedIn, Facebook, their email address, any tags associated, and any notes. But all you really have to do is type in their name. So I'll go ahead and choose this vendor right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and name our campaign. So this is internal just for us. So I'll go ahead and name this my sales call training. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in our destination link. This is where we want the user to end up. So for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and send them to my blog. And you see that we have a check mark here and a check mark here. That means we're doing something right. It's all been validated. We're good to go. Now we have a status. So remember, we can put this link in a pending status, which means it's not live yet. And whatever we have set for our whole lead page is what will display. This link here only displays when it's in an active status. So if we open this up, we have pending. Here's active, which means this link is live. This is what will show for the destination link. Then we have completed, which means whatever is set for your completed status is what's going to show. It won't be this link here, but it'll be whatever's in your completed status. And then we have evergreen. These are links that will never shut down, that don't need a status. And then we have the one that I'm going to choose, which is called my links. So this is a training that I am putting on myself. It is clearly one of my sales funnels. So I'm going to categorize that under my links. Completely up to you what you want to do. Now, next, we need to decide, do we want to use one of our custom domains that we have added to the software? And I show you how to do that in another video. Or do we want to go ahead and choose an admin domain? So for this specific example, I'm going to go ahead and choose an admin domain. And now you see that my admin domain is actually down here. So it takes our username. And then here is the admin domain. So I'm going to go ahead and call this MST. It's up to you what you want for the visible link. I pulled in MST from my sales training. Okay. So now we have chadnicely.ibi3g.com forward slash MST. So when they click this, they're going to get redirected to here. And if I was in a pending status, they would not. And if I was in a completed status, they would not. If I'm in an evergreen status, they will. And if I'm set for my links, they will. Okay? I want you to understand that. Now we have the ability to go and choose a group. So I'm going to go ahead and choose internal. Remember, drop-down menu, which means your drop-down menu is controlled from this tab right here. I'm going to go ahead and set it for internal. We can also cloak the URL which means they will not see chadnicely.com when they get redirected to this page, but instead they will see whatever your visible link is. This is how you can stop somebody from stealing your affiliate commissions. And then finally, this is a little advanced, but if you want to track your EPC, and we'll have another video on this, then you would go ahead and click this link right here. For most of you, you don't need to worry about this. 
So we'll go ahead and leave this unchecked. And that is how you set up a basic campaign. You would go ahead and click save, and now your campaign has been set up. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how we take that campaign. I'll come over here. Here's my campaign. And what we're gonna do is we're going to set up the extra options.